Hi everybody. My name is Inder and my channel is about music production workflow and tech. Today's video is about the transformation of my studio space. As you can see the gear is increasing and I had different set of tables. I wanted to transform this space. This dynamic desk will be used for music production, sound design, digital content production, gear and tech reviews and audio visual tech. I wanted the desk to be flexible and height adjustable and I didn't see any other examples of other musicians using sit and stand desk because while making music we sit but sometimes while performing we stand so I wanted to cover all the bases hardwood or laminate was the first question to answer and i opted for uh, ikea sec barken top which is a worktop made of laminate because it needs to be lightweight there'll be lots of gear and although there are strong sit and stand frames available but you want to make sure that it's not too heavy for the motors and alex ross cost effective and high on utility a strong cable management tray with built-in power plugs a solid pine wood sliding tray for all the musical instruments and midi gear hanging under the table with height adjustable tray runners i decided to go with ekpakan because the size was perfect and it's a laminate worktop and has wooden grains that you can feel on the laminate and it's in the ash effect and the measurements are here and it fits my room perfectly and underneath we'll house two alex drawers i decided to go with the white color these are the measurements and then we come to the desk after doing a lot of brand comparison i decided to go with deski for the desk frame i decided to go with deski dual sit and stand desk frame the minimum height of the desk is 60 cm highest it goes as 125 which is perfect it can hold 140 kg which for my studio equipment is good enough in fact it future proofs a lot of stuff also this is the speed on which it moves and it has dual motor lifting system dual motors are um better than having a single motor desk deski frame comes with 10 year warranty on all parts it has an anti collision system motors when active are not very loud at 40 decibels and the power points are called l save and here you can see the cable tray which can be spaced out you uh, can adjust the width of it and it has these plug points i'm in australia so these are australian plug points and they match the color of the table if you're choosing white then the cable management tray is white and the plug points are also white deski has an app that you can download on your phone and it connects via bluetooth to manage many other features apart from that i also got a hemix power board from amazon so i will add that on top of the other deski plug points and for some other usage i also got some apple home kit enabled miros smart plugs Thank you my old setup you served me well but now it's bump out time table can serve some other purpose carefully collecting all the cables cleaning the floor and then fixing some marks on the wall the room is ready you'll find many videos on youtube regarding alex draws construction but for any ikea furniture use this rubber based hammer not the normal one and now placing two pieces of microfiber cloth 
on Alex drawers so that they don't get scratched and just to get a final layout of the room. Desk key frame arrived in three separate boxes. Box 1. Cable management tray with all the electric plug points which can be daisy chained. Two plugs have four inputs and the other one has two. It is very well built, strong construction and this is the tray. This tray can be adjusted according to your own width. For my measurements, please refer to my measurements in the video. And these hinges have some sort of a spring mechanism which puts this cable management tray under the desk which by pulling these plugs you can drop the cable management tray. It stays on the table but then you can fix the cables inside. And second box has these main legs for Desky. The instruction manual is very clear and I will also link to the Desky separate construction video where you can see in close up how this desk can be built. The center part of the frame can also be adjusted. There are some clips for cable management, some screws, a tool which is a hex key. So first we fix the right or left side of the desk. That's the top and the leg. I wish Desky could provide the hex tool which has a little bit of a magnet on it because the screws kept falling. And then comes the top bit. And this is where we'll place the IKEA's Ikpakan desktop. It has four screws on each side. The outer screws that you're seeing with some sort of stencil, that's for cable management. And for the legs, follow the crisscross screw tightening manner. The feet have rubber cushions so that your floor is safe. Most of the frame construction is now done and then finally keeping it at another table to measure the center space. I kept the tabletop upside down and LX drawers on both the sides and placed left and right side of the frame so that I can tighten the center spacer for the frame. And then Desky app for my phone. And the desk is ready. Phone sees the controller or the desk key controller on Bluetooth or you can scan the code as well. You also have to reset the height of the table but do that without keeping the LX drawers underneath. Now both the legs have uh, extension cables. If you're placing the central motor on left or right, that you can decide. The main controller, power and two motors. You have many plugs. One is for power, one is for motor. The other one is for another motor and power. With these clips, you can place it under the desk. The power cable can later be connected to the plug points of the desk key itself. motors left and right and the controller there are two more connection types f and dc they are not needed and placing the patch cables for the plugs 
they have special kind of connectors and no screws needed just with clips i kept one four plug on left one on right and one two plug in the center and on this empty side i placed the hemix power strip with usb connections as on the desk there are a couple of things which can be powered by usb now in this cable management tray i will place all my cables usb hubs for all the midi gear Neembot label maker. I wanted to label all the cables and plugs so that I know which one goes where. It's a brilliant little device and uh, you can copy the logos and write the name of your instrument for me it was Machina. I'm just showing you one of the samples. then on one part of the cable strip you can mirror it so it's up and down and this process i repeated for all my gear and plugs and then uh, a spine for cables under the table that you can see on the right and carefully putting the cable tag I got a pine panel from Bunnings and then using Amazon Works cordless handsaw I cut it according to the measurements and for under desk sliders which are height adjustable I got them from Halfway and they can support the tray well and they are perfect match for the size that I was going for and underneath the desk sliding tray runners on both sides of the center frame all the power plugs adapters were tagged even the cables inside monitor usb hubs and even desk keys powered through these points as you can see the sliders have height adjustable clamps and i measured it according to the highest midi instrument that i had under the desk which was touche and there it is making this tray was most challenging as there were no examples for height adjustable desks to have trays like this i was able to execute my plan quite effectively the desk looks clean and it's dynamic and serves my purpose i created a separate workspace for some other gear and connected it through usb ethernet extension hub to the main interface and finally would love to get your reactions on this entire project do let me know in the comments whatever you think about this project if you have any specific questions i will provide most of the resource material that i used for this project and also some links to the stuff that might be useful to you there'll be affiliate links they'll help me with my channel I'll be back with more videos. Take care.